Hey everyone, last week I showed you the seed pods on the Palo Verde tree. Well, I wanted to share a few more things with you about the Palo Verde tree. First of all, its real name is Parkinsonia, Florida. Isn't that interesting? And it's called a blue Palo Verde tree. It grows in the southwest United States and northwest Mexico only. There's no shortage of the Palo Verde tree. It's prolific throughout the areas. The name Parkinsonia, Florida means green pole or stick. So I thought that was interesting. They don't really require much water. Because they're green, they use photosynthesis. And the best part about these is you can eat the seed pods. When they are this green and they are soft, some of them have one seed. This one only has one. This one has one. You can see the seed. This one only has one tiny one. You can pluck them off and you can eat them. So in the desert, you can survive off the seed pods in springtime and pluck as many off as you can and put them in your salad. They're very tasty. Yeah, I thought I would give you guys a tiny bit of education about the Palo Verde green pole or green stick tree. I love the branches and how green the bark is. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, I know. It's so pretty. That's for you, Grow Better, because you're always saying, oh. <laughs> so that was for you, Grow Better. Y'all enjoy your day. If you know you uh, come to Southern Arizona, you can survive off of the desert. I'll show you in the coming days what else you can eat in the desert and survive off of quite a bit. As a matter of fact, you can cut open a cactus and drink the water. You won't die. It gets really hot here, really hot. Not as hot as Northern Arizona, Lake Havasu, uh, Lake Havasu Kingman. In those areas, it can get to 118, 120. Down here, about 112, 113 is what we get. So, and a little warmer, but not usually. So, you can cut, up a, cut open a cactus and drink the water. You can eat these seed pods off of the Palo Verde tree. And I will also show you tomorrow, I think tomorrow, that you can use the beans, the bean pods from a mesquite tree and grind them up into flour and make the best cookies you've ever had in your entire life. So, more desert education coming up soon. Thanks guys. Take care.